Okay, people, we are talking about the murder of Evi Rauter, uh, also known as La Noia de Porbeau. Uh, and uh, I, want, I want to demonstrate to you how it's impossible uh, for Evi Rauter uh, to hang herself, to commit suicide, and end up in this position that she, she, she was found. Now, of course, all the other evidence are already like indicating the murder. Uh, I'm just uh, for all the people who who are discarding the testimony of uh, Carmina Cole of the, the of the neighbors hearing the noise and all the people who are discarding the the other evidences in the photos and all the other things uh, that. Uh, clearly shows it's, it's a case of murder but if anybody you know like um, thinks that it's possible physically that she could climb that tree uh, without any scratch and uh, end up in that position uh, now I'm going to focus on the position of her left arm okay her left arm and I'm going to demonstrate that it's physically impossible she could end up in this position. Okay, so I have here the shoelace. The shoelace is exactly one meter fifty, one meter and fifty centimeters, and the rope uh, which uh, was used uh, to murder every router, the rope was uh, one sixty-five centimeters, so fifteen centimeters uh, more than this rope. So this rope was doubled like this. And was attached like that. You see? So, you see there is no real knot here. It just pulled through. You know, and now, this piece here uh, would be approximately uh, approximately 8 centimeters more. You would have 8 centimeters more of length on that rope. And of course, once the rope was tied up, uh, it had the excess, so it's, you know, like, it, it's very short, you know, the from from the tip here, the tip of the, of the jaw, jaw here, where the knot was a little bit up, as you can see, you see here, like, from this position till where it was tied, is like 25 centimeters so any drop from that height it's so quick it's it's a moment you know falling it's like try to jump of something that's like 25 centimeters of height and just see the moment just this moment when you when when your feet touch the floor before you, you like stabilize yourself this quick moment of falling this is like a fraction of a second. It's very quick, you know. And in that time, the left arm of every router has no, no time to, to come into that position. And also the body cannot rotate, you know, fully rotate. Because she was, if she would climb on, on this branch here, the branch was this direction. And the hanging branch was here. So if she would climb up and attach the rope, she had to use both arms. So she had to like, like the left arm would be inside on the tree to tie it up. Because with one hand you cannot tie the, the rope. You cannot like grab it here, pull it and tie it up. It's not possible. And you know, even like trying to do that, you know, would be very, very difficult, you know, without the shoes, you know, and up on that, uh, on that branch. But anyway, once it's attached, it's very short. So, you know, the, the fall is very quick, you know, once, once the, once the, the rope like tensed and jerked, and pulled on the body weight, like, you know, the body would come into contact with the tree and stay that way. 
So it's a fraction of a second. So if she had the arm like here, which is logical, and then she would like attach that. And the only way where, where she could go because she was up at the tree is this way. So this fall is very quick and you have no time for the body to rotate. But what happens with the arm? Like when it jerked, your arm stays stuck here. And she was like this. She'll be like this. And if you watch the photo, her left arm is, is like, you know, her left arm is like this. And there is another branch there. Going like that. And the, the, the hand is resting like here. So the hand, the hand, if she, if she, if she was grabbing the tree and trying to jump there, the hand would have to go like this and do this move. The hand would be on the other side of that branch it, or it would hit the branch. It wouldn't like slide inside because it's, it, 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 it's just, just a moment. It's a fall of like 25 centimeters. It's, it's like fall like this and that's it. Her left arm would be stuck against the tree and the body wouldn't be able to rotate because this shoulder, this shoulder, if the arm is caught here, this shoulder cannot, the body cannot turn. You have to go like this for the body to turn. And it's just physically impossible, you know. It's impossible. If, if after she attached, she would slide the hand here and then jump here, down, her, her left arm, her left arm would have to do a move like this, like that. And it's like just this, to slide the arm, it's, it wouldn't be possible, or she wouldn't attempt that. That's just, you know, like being here and then jumping there, the arm would be stuck and she couldn't rotate. Anyway, there's no time for the body to make this full rotation and face toward the tree. And now, uh, uh, if, if somebody is thinking what's theoretically possible, that if she was under that branch, then she would have to jump up at least like 40 or 50 centimeters, grabbing the grabbing the the branch and pulling herself up and then squeezing with the ties on the on the tree and while trying to to put the noose over tied it up and then like let her go of that branch which you know it's it would it would she would scratch herself you know it's it's a pine tree and would be extremely extremely um, difficult fit to do, you know. Um, but almost impossible without leaving some scratches, you know, climbing, grabbing on the on that tree and, and, and you know, like tying it up, you know. Um, but falling from, from that side, climbing on that, on that branch that was in the middle and then the short fall and it would be impossible. Ele tinha aqui sobra. Estava bem adormida. E me achou que vai sentir a cridar. A Georgina, toda jovente que esbaralhavam, uma noia que plorava e se sentia mal, não sei como explicar-me. Esbaralhavam. 